19 subjects. You know, every NEEP PG aspirant has this question in his mind. How do I complete all these 19 subjects in such a short time? Because till now, you had been doing 2-3 to three subjects or 3-4 to four subjects a year and even that had felt like a nightmare for you. Now suddenly you have to complete all the 19 subjects in less than a year. And this exam is really high stake because you need to perform well in order to get your dream rank. And these 19 subjects will feel like a mountain to you. During the initial days, you won't even have any idea how to approach these 19 subjects. And you start reading like you have been reading in your usual days. You just go through the textbooks word by word and you, you know try to memorize everything. But after 2-3 days, it starts feeling overwhelming and you feel like giving up. But don't worry, I'm there to help you. And I have been in the exact same situation as you guys are now. In this video, I'm gonna explain you step by step how to approach each subject and how do you complete all the 19 subjects and even squeeze in 2-3 to three revision before the exam time. Before I start to explain you how to approach the subjects, I want you to ask yourself a question. What kind of a student were you during your MBBS days? Were you someone who always read standard textbooks and always paid attention during the classes? Or were you like me who just opened his books during the final exams? Let me show you my books. All these books look like brand new without a single mark on them. And they don't even have names on it. See? But these books look like brand new. Except for this one because it's a little bit worn out. Because this book was used by my brother. And this as well. This is also a little bit torn because this also was used by my brother. Except these two. Every other book looks brand new. Because I have read them only once. That was during the final exams. And only those books are torn which my brother has used them to read during his BDS days. And since I have studied like this, the result was clear for me. In my first attempt of NEET PG, my rank was 1,22,000. Because all I did during my MBBS days was just a few days before exam, open the book and start mugging up as much as possible. And go and write whatever I remember in the exam and pass. I never focused on concepts. I, I never focused on how my NEET PG will go. And I had attended the classes just for attendance sake. So my mindset during the MBBS days was just to pass these 19 subjects. But when reality hit me, when I actually understood where I stand and when I realized that if this continues, I have no future, that's when I started changing my mindset. I understood the importance of conceptual learning and the importance of actually applying the knowledge, whatever you have learned. So I changed my strategy. I approached all the 19 subjects smartly. And in the next year, that is NEET PG 2021, my rank was 135. So if you are like me, if you are studying like this, Not this dramatically exactly, but if you're mugging up the topics without you know, going through the concept or without understanding the concept, no matter how many times you go through the subject, no matter how many revisions you do, your rank is not going to improve. And if you just, for the sake of completing all the 19 subjects, go through rapid revision videos or BTR, no matter you go to, through them three times, four times, but you will be stuck in that one lakh rank. You need to change your mindset and the way you approach all these 19 subjects. So let me share you my secret how I approach these 19 subjects. So there are actually two ways you can approach these subjects. The first approach would be to strengthen your foundation, to strengthen your basics. And you need to start by focusing on the first and second year subjects. And you need to master the, the five core subjects that is your anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology and pharmacology. If you are well versed these, with these five subjects, then all your clinical subjects are going to be like a cake, piece of cake for you. Because your surgery, your medicine is just an application of all these subjects and if you are well versed with these, then you won't be wasting a lot of time in reading subjects like surgery and medicine. And the second approach would be to dedicate your time to those subjects which are given the maximum weightage in your need PG. That is your medicine, your surgery, your OBG, your PSM, pharma and patho. 
तो यू स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन दीज सिक्स सब्जेक्ट एंड यू रिवर्स मैप दी सब्जेक्ट टू द बेसिक सब्जेक्ट लाइक एनाटमी फिजियोलॉजी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो यू नीड टू डिसाइड विच ऑफ दीज टू अप्रोचेस आई यू गन चूज इफ यू हैव एटलीस्ट सेवन टू एट मंथस ऑफ टाइम फॉर द एग्जाम लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ यू हैव एटलीस्ट अ मिनिमम ऑफ नाइन मंथस ऑफ टाइम बिफोर नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स हैपन्स सो आई सजेस्ट यू अप्रोच दीज नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स विद द फर्स्ट मेथड यू स्ट्रेंथन योर बेजिक्स गो सब्जेक्ट गो ईयर वाइज यू स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट ईयर सब्जेक्ट्स बिल्ड योर फाउंडेशन एंड देन गो टू द क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट्स डोंट वरी आई एक्सप्लेन एक्जैक्टली हाउ टू डू इट बट आई वॉन्ट यू टू चूज योर अप्रोच फर्स्ट सो इफ यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम then first approach would be better and if you are short on, short on time then the second approach would be better so let me start with the first approach so you know what a lot of people make mistakes you ignore the first year subjects thinking it's not important ah those are first year subjects subjects let's focus on them later on main thing is medicine and surgery let's focus on them first and you start with medicine you start with surgery but once you realize that there is anatomy there's physiology there's pathology there's microbiology in it and there is also pharmacology in it medicine is going to feel like a mountain to you it's going to feel so overwhelming that you won't understand because medicine is huge right it's so vast and it's an integration of all these basic subjects and without understanding the basics if you directly jump to medicine you'll stop reading medicine it's the same case scenario for surgery as well because there you'll integrate physiology there you'll integrate the anatomy with the applied aspects and if you are not well versed with these subjects and you directly go to surgery you will feel like you are wasting time nothing is entering your head and what you end up doing is just mugging up the topics solving a couple of mcq and a couple of weeks later you will forget everything you will feel like i am not so intelligent i am an average person so i don't think i'll get a good rank in pg so let's settle for whatever i get no this shouldn't be your mindset because i have received a lot of messages saying sir even after 3 to 4 revisions it still feels like new to me i still feel i don't remember this why is this happening because you are not learning the subject you are just reading it you are just for the sake of completion going through the notes until and unless you learn the concept and until and unless you apply the concept your study method will not work now coming to the first approach where you start with strengthening your basics so you start with the first year subjects let's up i had started with physiology because i was very weak in physiology i started with just 3 to 4 hours of video lectures per day and i started understanding the concept very well i started relating it to real life examples like for example when i studied the physiology of respiration i related it to a syringe because when the diaphragm goes down you will have this negative pressure inside right it will suck air it's same like when you pull the syringe down you have this negative pressure built up and when you immerse it in a water it will suck water and when you push the syringe the pressure inside builds up and it will expel the water the same thing happens with your lungs if your diaphragm is pushed up the pressure inside your thoracic cavity builds up and expiration happens if you read like this if you if you relate it to real life situations or if you if you relate it by reading to something you will never forget it even after 6 months if someone asks you an mcq on respiration on the physiology of respiration you'll st- you'll still be able to answer it this is how i had started learning because until now how i studied was i used to go through the textbook word by word i used to try to memorize each and every single word from whatever i studied and reproduce it in the exact same way and what used to happen 3 4 days later i used to forget those because remember one thing it's humanly not possible to remember each and every single word of all 19 subjects we are not robots even toppers forget it's normal human tendency to forget and i know a lot of you guys are trying just to memorize these and go and give an exam there it's really hard to remember each and everything this is how i changed my study method i i started understanding the concepts i started relating it to real life examples so it definitely took me some time in the initial days so it took me around 15 20 days to complete the phys- complete physiology and what i did you just immediately after listening to a lecture or just immediately after going through a topic i used to go and solve an mcq module on it to really understand how much am i able to apply how much have i really understood am i really able to apply that knowledge in solving an mcq so yeah i was able to apply it so that started building my confidence that yes what i had done till now is past that 1.22 lakh is my past i'm, I'm not going to remember it my new journey starts from now because from now i'm going to be a different person i'm actually understanding the concepts i'm actually able to apply my knowledge in solving the mcqs 
So I'm going to continue this for the rest of my preparation journey. So this is what I did. After physiology, I started with anatomy and I did the same thing. I suppose read a topic on upper limb muscles. So I started visualizing the muscles on my own hands. What was the muscle here? What was the muscle here? How does the artery course through? How does the nerve course through? And what are the actions of each nerve? I used to perform the action so that I remember it better. So you need to approach these subjects in this manner. It will definitely take time, I understand, but you don't have to revise it multiple times once you understand it this way. Because I'm not going to come back and read physiology again for two, three times, right? Because I have understood how respiration works. I have understood what are the muscles in my hand, how do, what is the course of the radial artery, what is the course of median nerve. Because once I have seen it, visualized it with my own eyes, I'll remember it for a longer time and I don't have to re keep revising it multiple times. I'm actually saving my time by studying it well the first time. So this is a common mistake you guys do. Your mind is in this chaos that I have to complete all the 19 subjects. I don't have time. I have to complete it soon. I have to revise it at least two times in order to get a good rank. But in this process of rat race, you, you forget an important point that you have to retain whatever you have studied. See, just completing all the 19 subjects is not enough if, if you don't actually remember whatever you have studied. So I keep stressing on this point each and every time in my video that quality of your study is more important than quantity. So it's kind of like a marathon. So you need to start slow. You need to slowly accelerate. And during the last phase is when you give your everything and run the hardest. So the strategy is simple. Start with the basic subjects. Keep understanding the concepts well. Keep applying the concepts. Keep practicing the MCQs. And take two months. It's fine to complete all the five core subjects I've told you. That is anatomy, physiology, pathology, microbiology and pharmacology. Try to retain whatever you have studied as much as possible. Because I know pharmacology and microbiology may seem overwhelming for you because they are kind of memory based subjects, right? So, you know, pharmacology used to feel overwhelming for me as well. Remembering those drugs, remembering the mechanism of action. Pharmacology was kind of a nightmare for me during the UG days. So what I did, I started relating the mechanism and the name of drugs to something from the movie or anime. And you can watch my video lectures on antibiotics where I have explained the uh, mechanism using anime characters. So you can relate it to it as well and understand antibiotics better. And remember, if you are like me, if you haven't gone through the standard textbooks during your UG days, now is not the time to go through the standard textbooks and try to understand. If you are someone who have already referred to standard textbooks during your MBBS days, then you can refer to them. You will understand it better. But if you have read it only during the final exam time to pass your MBBS, then going through the standard textbooks won't be a right strategy for you because you won't know where to concentrate more. You, you'll again start reading word by word. You'll again keep stressing on every single word and that will actually waste a lot of time. Choose any platform. It doesn't matter which. You can choose Marrow. You can choose Prep Ladder. You can choose Cerebellum. Whatever platform you're comfortable with. Or if you want to apply to face-to-face -face classes, if you're not so disciplined, you can do that as well. So once you strengthen your basic, once you master all these five subjects, now it's time for you to move on to the next step. That is your core clinical subjects. That is your medicine, surgery, OBG, ESM and orthopedics. So once you're well-versed with the basic subjects and you've strengthened your foundation, understanding these subjects and reading these subjects will feel a lot easier to you. So even now your strategy remains the same. You can either go through the subject system wise or you can go through the subjects from the start. So let's suppose in medicine you are starting with cardiology. So you go through the entire cardiology in medicine and then you start revising your basic subjects as well. Because in medicine you also need the knowledge of pharmacology, you also need the knowledge of pathology, you also need the microbiology knowledge. So once you complete medicine, you just go through topics which were covered in the medicine. So it's the side by side revision of your basic subjects as well. So you are now strengthening your foundation even more by reading the clinical subjects. And you are also revising side by side the topics which you are reading in medicine. So you read medicine system wise and you revise whatever topics were covered from your basic subjects in that system. And the same goes for surgery as well. Anatomy and physiology is explained from the surgery, right? Like for example, I have created a video on pneumothorax where I'm explaining the anatomy and physiology first, then I'm explaining the surgical aspect of pneumothorax. So 
So once you watch this video, it's kind of a revision of your anatomy as well. It's kind of a revision for, of your physiology as well. And you are also understanding the surgical aspect of pneumothorax. So this is how you need to smartly complete all your 19 subjects. So take the next two and a half to three months to complete all these core subjects where the strategy remains the same. You go through a lecture, you apply the knowledge by solving the MCQs and you revise your basic subjects, whichever topic you have read from the clinical subject. So you are doing the revision of completed subjects side by side and you are also strengthening your clinical knowledge. So that's it. First two months for your basic foundation subjects, which are the five subjects. And the next two and after three months, another five subjects of your core clinical subjects. And the remaining 45 to 50 days is when you will focus on the short subjects, meaning nine short subjects like ENT, Ophthal, Biochemistry, for Forensic, your Dermat, your Anesthesia, Radiology, Psychiatry and what did I miss? So you take the next 45 to 50 days to complete these short subjects. So your approach has to be smart because, because if you read these subjects well, you're going to get free marks. So what you can do for these subjects is you just can go through the rapid revision videos or rapid revision notes and solve and focus on the previous year questions more. Keep solving the MCQ modules as well, but your main focus has to be on these two. That is the rapid revision videos and previous year questions. So this is your first method of approaching all the 19 subjects. That is strengthening your core, then applying your core knowledge in your clinical subjects and dedicating the remaining days for your short subjects. So once you complete your first reading, you can squeeze in two to three revisions based on how much time is left. You can either go through rapid revision entirely or you can go through all the notes or you can, you know, read system wise. Like in your phase two when you are reading the clinical subjects. Because you will understand when you give a GT what subjects you are weak at, what areas you are weak in. So you start strengthening those weak areas during your first revision. And regarding the GT, I have already made a video on how to approach the GT and when to give GT, what is the ideal duration to give the GT. You can go and check it out, check out my GT videos to understand approach to GTs better and apply that knowledge during your preparation phase. So that's it. Your first revision is done. You take the next two to three months to do your first revision where you learn to integrate all the subjects. And once you integrate, you don't have to go back and read anatomy separately. You don't have to read pathology separately. Now you approach it system wise and you can use custom modules of and use system wise tags of all the subjects to actually revise it better. So you can choose a custom module. You, you can choose a tag of either respiratory system or cardiovascular system and you can choose the subject, you can choose medicine, you can choose surgery, you can choose all the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and try to solve every question which is possible on a particular system. So what happens is you'll learn to integrate better, you learn to revise better and you'll actually know where you get stuck, in what system you get stuck while solving the custom modules. So this was the first type of approach. But if you have at least eight to nine months before your exam, you can approach it this way. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you have got some important insights on how to approach the 19 subjects, what subject to focus on more, how to actually study to remember and how to actually dedicate the time for each subject. Please do subscribe because you don't want to be missing second approach. That is a shortcut approach to all the 19 subjects. And I very well know you guys love shortcuts. So please share this video to anyone who is preparing for NEET PG and is also overwhelmed by the 19 subjects. And please mention in the comments which subject do you feel the most overwhelming and I'll make a detailed and dedicated video to approach that subject so that you'll understand better with real example. Thank you for watching.